Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So let me start today's video by asking you a very simple question. The question is, why do you think that banks or the banking sector is bailed out when any major crisis happens? For example, in 2008, when financial crisis happened, it is called as financial crisis because there was massive faults at the bank's end. For example, there were investment banks like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, which did some really bad stuff, right? I'll make a separate video on it. But we all know that these banks performed really badly. They engaged in really shady activities. They suffered massive losses. Their valuations went down. But still, the US government jumped in and bailed them out, right? Similarly, in India, there have been numerous instances when the government jumps in and bails out failing banks. So why is it that several sectors, be it power, be it transmission, be it auto, be it chemicals, government let these sectors fail. But on the other hand, banks, why is it that government needs to save banks? So please type out your response in the comment section. I will give the answer towards the end of this video. Let me move on to the agenda of today's video. So today I'm going to talk about Equitas Holding. This is one of the key stocks that I hold in my portfolio. And this stock has given me approximately 90% return in less than a year. And I've been very confident about this stock and have poured in a lot of capital, as you can see from this chart. So please listen to this video. There are very important lessons that I would like to share with you about fundamentally analyzing a stock and why I have been super bullish on small finance bank and whether or not you should also start investing your money in small finance bank in this bull run. Okay, so please stay till the end of the video. Very, very important. I'm going to speak in five points. That's it. I'll not complicate anything. Even if you are a beginner, you will get it. But please stay till the end of the video. Otherwise, you will understand half the things and then you will execute half the analysis. So I'll show you how I do fundamental analysis. And I use a tool called a sticker tape. I absolutely love the product. Therefore, they are the knowledge partner of this video. And I will show you how I have been using ticker tape to my advantage to conduct fundamental analysis. Also would request you to please check the description box. So point one is that whenever you are looking to do fundamental analysis of any stock, you need to understand the fundamentals, fundamentals of different industries, right? Different industries and then pick the best industry out of it where you want to pour in your money or a set of three, four best industries. So many of my regular viewers might be aware that I have been super bullish on which industry on small finance bank industry, right? So this is the industry that I'm trying to analyze and learn more about. So what I would do here, very simple that I would look at what are some of the small finance banks in India. For example, there is Ujjivan small finance bank, right? Bajaj finance can also qualify as small finance bank, so to say, right? Because they do small financing, not technically a bank per se, right? Then there is Equitas Holding and bunch of other different banks, right? So Equitas Holding, the stock that I'm going to talk about today. Even before jumping into these stocks, I would do a thorough research on what small finance bank is, what is its scope, and I will try to do this analysis. So whenever I'm trying to do a fundamental analysis of any type of industry, what I would do is that I would go on the website of these two, three big players, and I will try to read all the financial information and any key points that they have covered on their annual reports. So let me show you some of the key points from there. So here I am at the Equitas website, right? And all these websites do present their annual reports, right? So you can literally go scroll down and then you can look at the Equitas Holding Limited annual report. So let's read the latest ones, right? Now, what am I trying to do here? I'm not trying to go through the company fundamentals. I'll do that separately, but I'm just trying to get a feel of the industry. So there were a couple of really good points that I could decipher here, which I just wanted to point out and why I have been so bullish on this industry. Now, if you go to page 23 of this report, you will read something very interesting, right? It gives an overview of the small finance bank industry, right? So it says that, hey, literally like small finance bank industry in the last three years. So 2016 is when small finance bank 2015, 2016 was the year when RBI started pushing small finance banks and they started making a lot of inroads. So look at the growth of these banks. So asset under management grew at a compounded annual growth rate of 26%, right? This is 26% growth per year. This is a massive growth number for any kind of industry. So, and this is a fact that is available that has been available since 2016, 2017, that every year the industry has been growing at a massive pace, right? So this is a very, very important point for you to observe that this industry has a massive growth rate. It has been growing at a massive pace. So this is the first key point that you need to understand that, hey, which industry should I pick my bets on? 
So I am picking my bets on small finance bank industry, EV industry. This is another industry that I have been very bullish about. I link the video here why, right? But these are some of the industries that I have been very bullish about, right? So this is the present trend of this industry, right? Present or historic trend, right? A lot of times what we do is that we look at the present trend, we look at the historic trend and we are done. No, that is a very wrong habit. You need to move on to step two. You need to understand that, hey, what will the future trends look? Because that will dictate from where the stocks of these industries will shoot up to, right? So here, there is very good data given, right? Again, on the annual report, you don't need to do anything. So all you need to do is that you just need to look at some of the factors that are driving the growth of small finance back industry and use your brain as to, hey, do these things look reasonable? So let's go point by point. So lack of formal banking services for a significant section of India's population. This is absolutely true. Now, if you're from a tier three city or if you're from a tier three town or a small village, you will understand that banking and getting credit is a massive pain for rural people. Majority of the times, what are the options for villagers? What they do? They go to loan charges, right? They charge like 50% monthly returns, right? On their capital, which is very unfortunate and people get trapped. This happens because many poor people do not have access to banking and financing. Now, very recently, right? I mean, literally in the last five or six years, Jandhan accounts have been opened, right? Bunch of other Aadhaar verification has been done. Why was it done? To get more and more people into the formal banking system. So this exercise has not been completed yet, right? This exercise has not been completed yet. It will continue to happen. So this point looks very valid, right? Second, unorganized to organized banking. This is what it means that rather than people going to loan sharks, people will now move to organized banking, right? There will be formal banks like Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, Equitas Holding. Equitas also has a small finance bank. Equitas Holding is the holding company. It holds Equitas Small Finance Bank. So yes, this is also happening. Access to funds at cheaper cost. Absolutely. Again, ties into the first point that I was saying that if I'm someone who is living in a village, then rather than taking expensive loans from loan shark, where will I go? I will go to these small finance banks, microfinance institutes, right? So that is what is happening, right? And this is again a trend very clearly. I actually worked on one of the microfinance institute projects during my time at Dalberg. So I have good understanding about this industry. So from that perspective, I was quite bullish from this angle, right? Now, bunch of other different supporting factors. So I'll let you read it. There is another good information that is given here. So you can read it, right? So this is very, very clear that, hey, you know what? If you use your brain and if you try to do a future prognosis, right? Future prognosis, you will understand that, okay, you know what? Things look fine. There will be growth in this industry. This is the second key point that I wanted to delve deeper. Number one, look at the past trends, look at the present trends. Number two, look at the future trends, right? At least this trend based analysis should be very clear to you and it should be clear to the point and you should believe in that analysis because when the stock prices go down, you will not sell it. If you truly believe that, hey, you know what? I have purchased the stock, keeping a long term vision in mind, you'll be super happy. This is what long term investing means. It is super boring. You have to do a lot of research, but this is the way to do fundamental analysis. And I'm showing you literally opening it up very, very transparently what fundamental analysis actually means, right? Please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a not to me. So, okay, moving on to the third point. Point number three. Now we have to decide which stock or which stocks do I need to buy from that industry, right? So here the question would have been that, hey, Akshat, why did you choose only Equitas Finance? Why not something else, right? So let me now take you to ticker tape. And this is the analysis that I do. And this is the feature that I love about ticker tape that you can literally do a peer comparison. So what do you see, right? You see something called as PE ratio, right? PE ratio means what? Price to earning, right? Now for a company like Bajaj Finance, we all know that Bajaj Finance stock is massive. It has become a rocket in the last 10, 15 years. It has given massive returns. Now, essentially price to earning indicates what? So price to earning means that, hey, you have to put in five rupees to make one rupee, right? If the price to earning is, let's say eight, then you have to put in eight rupees to make one rupee, right? So now this is the first interpretation of price to earning. This is what all the analysts will tell you and which is cool. But there is another way you can look at price to earning ratio. What it simply means is that hey, you look at price to earning and if a company is commanding very high price to earning, right? very high price to earning, for example, Bajaj Finance, it indicates that people are betting very high on its growth rate. right? 
So essentially price to earning also indicates growth rate. So companies that have a very high price to earning, people are believing that, hey, this is a very high growth company already, right? For example, if you put your money in Bajaj Finance right now, its price to equity or price to earning is 83.63. Now this price to earning ratio will not become like 500, right? That is highly unlikely, right? Such growth does not happen. But if you are putting your money on a small company or a company where the price to earning ratio is 9.23, can it become 85? Yes, it can, right? For that, the company will have to become 8 times. 9 eights are 7, 9 nines are 81, so it has to become 9 times, right? Now, if the company becomes 9 times to get to Bajaj Finance, it can technically do that. This indicates that, you know, if I am putting 1 rupee, I will essentially make 9 rupees, right, from that stock, right? This is a very different way of looking at price to earning. I'm telling you this technique because this is a technique, not what many people think about, right? This is not very easy to understand. This has a lot of numbers. So I will request you to rewind and watch this part again. But essentially what I'm getting at is, so some companies where the price to earning is low right now, it does not indicate that, hey, this company is bad, right? It just simply could mean that, hey, there is a massive buying opportunity, right? There might be a massive buying opportunity in this stock. So now how do you decide, right? Because you can interpret this low price to earning ratio in two ways, right? You might say that here or not, Akshat, Bajaj Finance is 83.63. People are betting on its growth. Here people are not even betting on its growth, right? Therefore, it's 9.23. So probably it's a bad share to buy. Okay. So let me now take you to fundamentals of the company or the financial analysis of the company because you need to take a look at the finance and how much revenues is the company making. So you need to see price to earning ratio in context to the financials. Is it a growing company or not? Why? Because price to earning was indicating the growth, right? If you take a look at the total revenues of the company, right? It has grown, right? It has grown massively. If you take a look at net income, this is where the magic happens, right? in literally three years time, how much it has become, right? It has become 30, 40, 35 times, right? 35 times the profits have increased for Equitas financing and this information has been available since 2018, right? This is a massive, 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 massive boost. Now, if you pick this up and combine it with the low PE that is existing, I absolutely see no reason why price to earning ratio of Equitas so let me take you back. Now I see no reason why the price to earning ratio of Equitas will not become something like Bajaj Finance, right? So therefore the stock has been growing massively, right? So this is like one key good point about Equitas Finance. So this is the first key point I will analyze. Second, I will look at some of the key parameters because small finance bank, as we read on the report, it's a evolving industry, right? It is a very recent thing, right? So does it have quality checks? The default probability, is it low? Are, is it is the quality fine? Are the growth parameters there, right? So this also indicates, so we can give it another star, right? So now let us move on to analyzing the fact when we should buy the stock. So for this, we do something called as technical analysis. Now let us figure out that, hey, should we, when should we buy the stock? Now, this is what we need to do. We need to do the technical analysis. Now, a lot of people will tell you that, you know what, cup and handle pattern is forming, accumulation is happening all that is cool i'm not against it do that i also i myself do that as well but here this is a fundamentally driven stock so you need to keep that in mind a stock that has the potential from going to 9x in terms of p2e price to earning to 81x right it will give growth right that is what i've been betting on and that is the reason why i poured in so much money right on this stock so this is what you need to do, right? Now, what did I say? One of the principles that I had given you on earlier class was that if a company is at its highest ever profits, right, and it is not trading at its highest, highest ever price, you should go and buy that stock, right? Who gave this principle? I've explained it earlier. Please comment. I would really appreciate it. I would understand that you are learning from my videos. So let's see. So it was trading at somewhere around 188 and now it is trading at 120, 125 ish levels. So if you take a look at the last five year performance, let's look at that. So again, like one same thing, right? It was trading at approximately 200. That's the highest level. Now it's trading at 127, 128 levels, right? So if we, if we actually take a look at the current price and compare it to its highest ever price, again, good, strong fundamentals, company trading at good price. It has not reached its highest ever potential yet. So I'm quite confident that from here, it will at least reach to 200 in the upcoming years. 
When will it reach? I don't know. Maybe three months, maybe six months, maybe one year, maybe two years. I'm completely okay holding it for the long term. So essentially, very quickly recapping, how did I do the analysis, right? Number one, I looked at industry, right? Industry. I looked at past plus present trends on the industry, right? I looked at future trends in the industry, right? That was the first key piece of information that I looked. Number two, I did peer analysis, right? To figure out, hey, which stocks might grow in the future, right? Then I bet big on Equitas holdings from that angle and made massive returns, right? Close to 28 lakhs in profit already. And I would continue to hold this stock for a substantial future. I'm quite happy with it. I do see this industry growing further. This brings us to the fourth part that, hey, what am I going to do on this stock? So number one, I'm going to continue to hold this stock for the long term, right? What do I mean by long term? I don't know. I'm holding a level of around 200. If the stock hits 200, that's what long term means for me because I see it growing to 200 levels. This is not an investment advice. Please do your own due diligence. I'm just telling you my methods. Number two, I'm going to continue to buy this stock on dips. Now you might say that, Yakshat, this is very scary. You, what do you mean by dip, right? You're saying that the stock will reach to 200 levels and now you're talking about dips. Yes, so on this journey from 120 to 200, of course there will be dips. It might go down to 70, 80, 90 also. I don't bother because in the long term, I still see small finance bank industry growing and Equitas holding growing with it, right? So therefore, I'm quite bullish and I'm okay, right? Buying more stocks on this dip, right? Now, what are some of the risks that I see? So one of the risks or one of the only risks that I see in this stock is that this is a highly regulated industry. If tomorrow RBI gives more licenses to small finance bank, there will be more competition. If tomorrow there is some issue that goes on with Equitas holding some financial regulatory issue. Of course, these are news driven items. I'll keep a lookout. For this, I will continue to monitor all these different attributes on ticker tape because it gives quality information. Right, So I'll keep a track of it. This is one of the key dangers that I see. So to summarize, I'm quite bullish on the stock. I'll continue to accumulate and I'll hold it for the long term and continue to make massive gains. This brings us to the end of the video. So I asked you a question at the start of this video that, hey, why is it that governments have to save banks? Right? Why is it that they can't let the banks die? The answer there is twofold. Number one, banks are systematically very important for any economy because the flow of the credit happens from the banks. For example, if banks go down tomorrow, if HDFC, ICICI, all the banks shut, then businesses cannot get credit, right? So banks have to be saved from that angle. Number two reason is that banks are interconnected with each other. For example, if any systematically important bank goes down, which is a very big bank, for example, HDFC, goes down, then along with it, ICICI bank will also go down. Why? Because there is a lot of interlending between the banks, right? So therefore, the government cannot let any major bank fail in any economy, right? That is literally the sign of an economic crash that if a bank, if a major bank goes down in a country, it can lead to a lot of problems. So therefore, I'm generally bullish on the banking sector in entirety. And especially, I am bullish about small finance bank because they are available at an attractive valuation. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is how I do fundamental analysis. Please check the link in the description box and please give it a like. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much and I'll see you the next time.